Welcome back to Pride Today. Daniel, let's talk about what's making the news on Advocate.com. Right. So as Advocate reported over the weekend, um, Caitlyn Jenner, who is a um, transgender reality star athlete and now gubernatorial candidate in California, uh, was asked by a tabloid reporter about uh, transgender women participating in sports. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner responded with a now GOP party line, basically saying that we have to protect girls' sports from trans athletes and activists are not pleased with Jenner. Um, obviously, the issue of uh, trans women participating in sports is, I mean, almost a non issue across the country and uh, being ginned up by conservatives to uh, move the base. And speaking of trans participation in sports, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice appeared on MSNBC over the weekend and couldn't defend the bill he signed which would ban uh, transgender athletes from participating in sports that correspond with their gender identity. So um, once again, we're seeing GOP politicians fumble uh, when it comes to justifying um, anti-transgender vitriol in the legislation that they're pushing. That's Advocate's top headlines. For more stories like these, go to advocate.com. Welcome to Pride Today. I'm Stephen Walker in the Pride Today studio, and here's our daily roundup of the latest news. Let's kick things off by checking in with the senior editor of The Advocate, Daniel Reynolds. Hey, Daniel, give us the big headlines from Out. So today on Out, we covered the new trailer for Halston, which is the Netflix miniseries co-created by Ryan Murphy. And we really get to see more of Ewan McGregor in this role, the, the gay fashion designer, and how he rose to international stardom in the 80s. Uh, we also see some of his private life, his friendships with Liza Minnelli, and a little bit of a sex life, which is exciting as well. Also on Out, Pose premiered, which is the history-making series on transgender and queer people of color in New York City. And this is the final season, and some fans were disappointed to see that one of the stars of the show, Ryan Jamal Swain, isn't as present this season. And as co-creator Stephen Canals explained in Out reporting, um, the actor had gone through a family tragedy, so they had to uh, alter the role. That's Out's top headlines. For more stories like these, go to out.com. I've got a deeper love inside. Welcome back to Pride Today. We've teamed up with CelebrityPage.com and Pride.com for your latest in entertainment and pop culture news. June is right around the corner, which means it's time to gear up for Pride Month. YouTube is getting in on the celebrations by teaming up with The Trevor Project on two global live streams. The events will be raising money and awareness for the LGBTQ plus youth, and they're set to be star-studded, featuring celebs like Trixie Mattel, Daniel Howell, Peppermint, and more. Visit thetrevorproject.org for more. That's the latest in pop culture. Pride Today continues after this. I've got a deeper love inside. Welcome back to Pride Today. Let's send things back to Daniel, who's going to tell us all about today's Pride Spotlight. Today we're highlighting uh, an interview that I conducted with Peter Kemp, who is one of the stars of 40-year-old version. Um, for those who haven't seen it, um, it's an amazing Netflix movie produced by Lena Waithe and starring Rada Blank as a struggling um, black woman in the New York theater space. Uh, Peter Kim betrays an interesting role. He's also brought his best friend, also her manager, guiding her through 
uh, the different uh, hurdles and career setbacks that she's encountering. In the real world, Peter Kim is a uh, theater actor and he discussed how in off-Broadway spaces, uh, he's often felt excluded and how, as we had this conversation about anti-Asian hatred and violence, that we also have to take a look at even supposedly liberal spaces like the entertainment industry and the space that we make for Asian actors um, and the roles that they receive. And that includes making sure that it's not just casting, but creating more stories that center the experiences of marginalized people, as we see also in the movie itself, The 40 Old Version. That's your Pride Today wrap up. And as the world continues to open up, we'll all be doing a lot more traveling. So make sure you visit outTraveler.com for all things travel. See you tomorrow.